Well, hi friends, welcome aboard the Las Piedras Railroad. Finally getting a chance to do a video. We've been busy with uh, projects around the house, uh, redoing patios, now the pool's getting redone. Because it's only 60 to 70 degrees in February here in the winter, so we're getting those done and I haven't had a chance uh, really, except for just a few minutes to jump out here and get a few things done. Um, after Christmas and New Year. So let's jump into this and we'll show you what's new. So the centering springs that I put on the turnouts, the springs, to uh, throw the switch throw bars, the points weren't staying up against the rails and it was causing a real big issue and I was having to take like a straight pin and stick it in the hole there on the throw bar. And I said to myself, well, you know, if this thing is going to operate, we're going to have to find another way to do it. So that's when I decided just to break down an order from uh, N-Scale Supply. Now I think they're called like Rocky Mountain Railroad or something. Uh, they have a big, big grand opening like a circus. And I've got 12 of the 206 sprung ground throws coming. They're horribly out of scale, but what's a brother to do? I mean, we all know these imitation switch stands look so much better if there were uh, powered switches. I mean, I've never done powered switches before, uh, not even an HO. Everything's been manual, so I have no experience at all in using tortoise uh, machines. So what we end up having to do, which wasn't that bad, to make room for these Caboose Industries ground throws was to pull out and move some of the track. The lumber yard, it looks better. And I really didn't like that uh, play kids foam that I used for concrete. I mean, this is some concrete that's gonna be on a team track with a ramp. And I really like the way that looks much better. Uh, this hasn't had any etching or any um, weathering done to it yet. Scraping out, you know, some, uh, some worn out areas and whatnot. So this siding had to change too. It had to whoop around to bypass where that ground throw is going to go. And it actually looks better than it did before, the preceding one. Oh uh, yeah, and I had a bad turnout here. So we replaced that. Thank God I had an extra turnout on hand. It's like Seinfeld, could, could you go down in storage and get us some more pickles? Yeah, I'll get right to the short st the storeroom. Then the project I was working on right after right after Christmas was these background flats going in back here and then matching the colors on that partial background. Uh, I guess we call it a divider to try to match the wall. We're working on that next. So there's our update on what's going on. Oh, yeah, one other thing. Not real happy about my uh, Kato EMD NW2. The pickups are out of it and the tube shaft I still don't understand how that tube right there powers both of those trucks, but apparently it does. <laughs> In the mythical land of Oz. All right, everybody have an awesome day. <laughs> In the merry old land of Oz.